A lot of things can happen in the workplace. We're going to be watching as workmen are assigned to perform a task inside a confined space. Let's find out what's going on. Uh, Bill? <clears throat> uh, Bill? Come here, will you? Uh, Bill, we've got a job that we've got to get done. We've got a job that we've got to get done today, and I cannot allow any overtime on this. Understood? Okay. So what do we have to do? First of all, you've got to get rid of that coffee. There's no food or drink allowed in this area. You know that. Okay, now you're going to have to clean out Tallyween tank number five. And I mean clean. I've got a subcontractor coming in here tomorrow to cut a portal in the bottom of her, and there can't be any sludge in there at all. Understood? Yeah. Oh, um, this is Jimmy. Jimmy, this is Bill. Uh, he's a new laborer. I just hired him yesterday. You tell him what to do. Well, what are you waiting for? An invitation? Oh. Yeah. Old Oscar, he's pretty high strung. Always waving that clipboard around. Probably sleeps with it under his pillow. You don't say much, do you, Jimmy? No, it's okay. Uh, tell you what, why don't you just uh, untie this rope and we'll get to work, huh? Lo siento, no entiendo. What did you say? Uh, perdone, no hable inglés. Yo trabajo bien. Uh, yeah. You don't speak English. Well, no, I mean, that's okay. Uh, uh, you get to go inside. I do it, but I got seniority, you know. Okay, now, when you go in there, you gotta wear this breathing apparatus. Because that tiger means some pretty strong stuff. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Since the hole's too small for you to fit into with the equipment on your back, you crawl in the hole, and then I'll hand it down to you and strap it on before you go down. Jimmy! three cuts were complete. The third was 95% complete when sparks ignited the hazardous materials inside the tank. The result was death for one of the firefighters and for Jimmy, the man trapped inside. A confined space has the following characteristics. Its size and shape allow a person to enter it. It has limited openings for workers to enter and exit and it is not designed for continuous occupancy. A permit required confined space has one or more of the following. It contains or has the potential to contain a hazardous atmosphere. It contains a material that has the potential to engulf a person. And it has an internal shape that could cause a person to be trapped or asphyxiated by converging walls or by a floor that slopes downward. A hazardous atmosphere is only one of many dangers that can be present in a confined space. In a hazardous atmosphere, the air may not contain enough oxygen to sustain life, or it may be flammable or toxic. Because of these hazards, entry is defined as placing any part of your body into the space. In the case of this serious incident, a confined space permit, testing and monitoring of the atmosphere, plus venting should have been completed prior to entry into the tank. Selection of proper respiratory protection should have been made and the physical limitations and work procedures considered. 
Since this was a vertical entry, the entrant should have worn a harness hooked to a retrieval line and mechanical device such as a tripod and winch. This rescue system ensures that the attendant can pull an entrant to safety. Training of entrants and attendants must also ensure understanding of proper confined space safety guidelines. In this case, a language barrier resulting in the inability to communicate the dangers of the space may have caused the incident. Evaluation by a qualified person before entry is also required to reduce risks for employees. Sam is employed by the Water Distribution Division, charged with checking meters throughout the city. He has a heavy workload ahead of him. Hey, Sammy, this is Frank. You there? Hey, Sammy, where are you? This is Frank. Hey, Sam, if you hear me, call me back. Yeah, Frank, what do you want? I'm in a hurry here. Yeah, um, I want to know if you'll come over to yeah, uh, see the fight tonight, because, um... Yeah, Frank, what do you want? I'll be there, okay? I've got, like, 40 more stops to make before I can be anywhere, okay? that long reach. Where's Sam? Uh, is he going to make it? Yeah. He said he'd meet us there. He's got the West End route today. Hey, you know what happens when you get the West End route. You don't get home till dawn. Rachel, try Sam one more time. It's getting late. Sam could be with his friends tonight. He could be watching the fight, having a good time. But Sam won't be coming home at all. He was pronounced dead after efforts to revive him proved unsuccessful. Before entering a confined space, the atmosphere should always be tested. After entry, regular retesting or continuous monitoring is necessary. All employees who work in confined spaces should be aware of the potential hazards, the possible emergencies, and the procedures to be followed prior to entering a confined space. These procedures include atmospheric testing to ensure adequate oxygen supply, adequate ventilation, and the control of toxic airs are trained in the selection and proper use of respiratory equipment. When working in a confined space, Adequate ventilation is used to control a hazardous atmosphere. There are two kinds of mechanical ventilation, local exhaust ventilation and general ventilation. Local ventilation captures contaminants at their point of origin and removes them. General ventilation flushes the atmosphere by supplying and exhausting large volumes of air. In this horrible incident, air quality was not tested prior to entry and the confined space did not have adequate ventilation. Because the atmosphere was not tested and reported on a confined space permit, the entrant was unaware that methane and carbon dioxide were present until it was too late. Glenn's job today is oxyacetylene welding inside an old reactor vessel. Since the reactor tested oxygen deficient, and the plant hygienist noticed particulates inside the reactor. Glenn is wearing an airline respirator.
was fortunate. He survived this incident. The incident investigation showed that this cylinder, filled with pure oxygen, was attached to Glenn's airline respirator. Pure oxygen is never used while welding. That's one reason threads on an oxygen cylinder are different from those on grade D breathing air, which is the appropriate cylinder for this application. Whoever misconnected this bottle used an adapter to overcome the safety engineering. A leak in his airline hose with a sudden rush of oxygen caused his face piece to burst into flames. Even though Glenn was an experienced welder, failure to pre-inspect his gear before starting work resulted in a face full of fire and pain. People working in owe it to themselves and others to be aware of confined space hazards. Pre-entry planning and adherence to safety measures save lives. Before entering a confined space, check to see that the permit is complete, signed, and authorized. Barriers are erected outside the space. Input lines are capped, disconnected, or blanked. Lockout tagout of all energized equipment is in place. The space is ventilated. All approved PPE is on site. Everyone understands the emergency action plan and rescue procedures. To verify atmospheric quality inside a confined space, testing is performed from the outside. And periodic testing continues as long as the space is occupied. All personal protective equipment and emergency breathing systems that might be needed must be available on site and worn or used as necessary. Safe confined space entry requires attention to every detail and is a team effort. So be prepared, be alert, and be a team player.